437, for the first time since the release of The Keepers last year, we are hearing from the woman once known as Jane Doe. Jean Hargadon Wainer is featured prominently in that Netflix series. She names the disgraced priest Joseph Maskell as one of her abusers when she attended Archbishop Keough High School back in the late 1960s. She says she told one of her teachers, Sister Catherine Sesnick, about the abuse, and then Sister Sesnick was murdered a few months after that. Harganon Wainer believes the nun was killed because she planned to do something about the abuse. Now she's calling for a grand jury investigation into the Archdiocese of Baltimore, similar to the one we saw recently in Pennsylvania. She believes it is the best hope for a breakthrough in the case. This was a crime ring. And I believe that if we had a criminal you know, justice uh, grand jury come together, we would find that it would help people understand how the abuse was really connected to her murder. A spokesman for the Archdiocese of Baltimore said the Archdiocese would cooperate with any law enforcement effort that could hold abusers accountable, but he added that the Archdiocese's disclosure of the names and information about dozens of priests back in 2002 is something that those dioceses in Pennsylvania had not done, and that contributed to the push for a grand jury probe there. County police tell me they are still investigating the murder of Sister Sesnick, but no arrest has ever been made. City police also revisited the case as well after the keepers came out last year. We'll have much more of the exclusive interview with Gene Hargadon Wainer coming up tonight on WMAR 2 News at 6 and 11. Yes, yeah, so I know you had an exclusive with her. What can we expect from the story tonight? Well, there's really two big parts of it. Uh, one is that issue with, with the murder of Sister Sesnick. Um, she talks a lot about that. And that's the one part where a lot of people might have a hard time believing some of the things that she says, that she was taken to see the body. Um, and she says she herself had a hard time believing it when she started to remember those things. But that's her, that's her memory of what happened, and she just wanted to relay that. The other part is that she is really calling for that grand jury investigation like what happened in Pennsylvania. She feels that that could lead to more information. Yeah. Does she feel like she's any closer to closure, you know, with these steps? That was one of the most interesting parts that she honestly isn't convinced they'll ever quote unquote solve the murder. Um, but even if they don't and more more victims come forward, more people get help, she still feels that that's a win and that it's helped to go through all this. I mean, she is just so brave for telling her story. It's if you haven't in, seen The Keepers, it's, um, it's incredible. Know, it's, it's, it really is an incredible documentary. So more coming up yep. later on this morning and also tonight at 6 and 11.